Good morning. This is James Hayes. It is March 1st, 2022, and I'm bringing today's timely truth for Jesus Lord Fellowship. We're located at 2236 Massachusetts Avenue in Toms River. You are welcome to join us for service at 9 a.m. or 1030. Now, the word that I want to share with you today, I was reminded of a story, <clears throat> I believe it was by Dr. Tony Evans. Um, the story goes as this. His daughter was, um, when she was really young, they had a little dog. And the dog was one of those, like, kind of yapping, kind of like chihuahua, just won't stop. And, but she had a great fear of the dog, just barking, 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 running up to her, scaring her. And one day he just ran, and it's, you know they make, they always make it look like they're about to bite you. They're just going crazy, and so she yelled, "Daddy, daddy, daddy!" And he said, "I reached down, she threw her arms in the air, and I picked her up." And when he picked her up, she looked back at the dog and stuck her tongue out and said, "Nah, nah, 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 nah you can't get me." That's because she knew that she was safe in her father's arms. That really bless me just to think sometimes the devil has us going back and forth in such a way that we got to understand in this life when Jesus said you're going to have trials and tribulations but we got a security safe in the arms of Jesus practicing the presence of God is a purposeful thing we must get into his presence run to him every day and get in the safety of his arms you know in the story of Job when he lost everything with his children and all the possessions that he had, he said, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He had a mindset not to curse God and die, but to stay in the presence of God. That's what we need to do when we're facing trials and tribulations. We need to stay in the presence of God. I was, I was um, thinking, oh, let me go find my old Baptist hymn book my brother gave me so i got it out and i want to read the words to this song leaning on the everlasting arms what a fellowship what a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arms what a blessedness what a peace of mind leaning on the everlasting arm leaning 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 on jesus leaning leaning safe and secure from all alarms. That is what the girl did. She knew in her father's arm there was safety, that she could run to the place and she could be lifted up above the problem and she could be secure. And that's why we have to have the same attitude. Nah, 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 devil, you can't get me. Cause we have a place of safety. The second line says, oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arm. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, leaning on Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms, leaning on the everlasting arm. It says, what have I to dread? That is so important. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. He says, what have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. I'm leaning, leaning, leaning on Jesus. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Let us pray. Father, today we come before you on this day with thanksgiving in our heart, knowing that your word has clearly taught us that you never leave us nor forsake us, that we can come to you in the midst of all of our troubles, cast our cares to you, and you will care for each one. We humbly bow our hearts and our heads to you today, God, and ask you to lift us above the storms of life. Let us stay in your presence where we can receive that fullness of joy, where we can have that peace of mind, knowing that we're safe in your arms, safe in your care, trusting you and not leaning to our own understanding. God, we thank you for the security of your love and your everlasting arms. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears our burdens. May you go in peace today and enjoy the power and the presence and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God bless.